Hey guys, what's going on? It's Big Pasta 92 here, and today we're going to go over a little bit of a newer look at an older boost. We're going to be going over the Scarlet Monastery Armory and Cathedral boost for Frost Mages. You can do this at level 60, you can do this at level 70, uh, you can even do it a little bit lower, and there's a few different specs you can use. But today we're going to go over the three different types, types of pulls that you can do in this instance, and the ways that you can do them if you're just getting used to them. If you haven't actually done that much boosting yet, this is going to be the video for you. If you guys enjoy it, please make sure to comment like and subscribe also make sure to drop follow on twitch.tv forward slash big pasta 92 let's get into it so what you're going to do right after you kill those first two uh, mobs right at the entrance there, they will aggro if you have lower people that you're boosting, so you're going to have to kill them first, is you're just going to run straight through the entirety of the instance. If you're level 70, it's no problem. At level 60, it's still relatively effortless. And then you're just going to camp right here at the window and get all your health and mana back. There's no reason to prep anything before you take this run. You don't need shields. You don't need consumes. You can do it all here. It's no problem. So start the pull. You rank one wand and ice lance right behind you just to get those mobs at the end of the hallway and for the rest of the run you're pretty much just rank one arcane explosioning so the armory pull is definitely easier than the cathedral pull just for from a perspective of pulling the mobs for sure but the kill phase is actually a little bit more difficult because there is no dedicated kill spot there is no dedicated safe spot you're just kind of kiting them around the courtyard and that's that's a little bit aggravating but you just rank one arcane explosion making sure to keep your shields and your wards up if necessary you don't take too too much damage it's really just arcane explosioning the whole way through and you want to make sure you hit pretty much every mob but these mobs on the left you target cast an ice lance followed by another rank one arcane explosion be sure to blink straight up the tunnel when you do because you're going to want to ice lance those mobs on the left and then continue you can ice lance you can arcane explosion you can do whatever you want continue to pull the rest of the mobs around the courtyard so at this point you're pretty much done pulling you're going to want to make sure that none of the boosters are anywhere near that doorway because even if they're a little bit close they can technically aggro and when your ice block happens all the mobs will run straight for the group so you don't want to do that this is where it's very important to have a blink and all your shields up because you're going to blink, blink to the end right there when you turn the corner usually because it'll be off cooldown again by the time you ice block i didn't i just ran the whole way but you should blink right there in the final stretch and then get both of your shields up get your ice block up get your mana shield up and then it's just waiting until the countdown so instant frost nova if you have a uh, if you have a cold snap ready you can use the double frost nova to ensure it but the biggest thing here is just going to be getting down your blizzards and weaving in your flame strikes your max rank flame strikes are going to be huge here because you have a lot of mobs and they're not going to be affected by the aoe cap so don't worry about cutting your blizzard cast short if you're expecting the arcane or, uh, magic absorption which you should be you're going to be getting a lot of mana back anyways don't be afraid to cut casts and if you're a new booster i highly suggest using the water elemental which i do in this video because it's just going to give you an extra route that you can use all along the way and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to get your flame strikes off without getting pressured and a lot of these mobs stop to heal at some point right so they're actually just going to be sitting in that flame strike damage which is going to help you out immensely so right there i use the pet freeze because i'm out and mine's on cooldown and you can pretty much just mow them all down now, if they're not dead by the time they get to you, or if they're not fleeing, you can blink to your left, you can use the entire courtyard. I like to just kind of run to the left and then cut right back through the courtyard and go all the way back towards the initial set of stairs that you started at, but that's not really necessary. Usually they're going to be pretty much dead, and if you do this pull, just like I showed you, you're going to kill roughly around 68 mobs in 5 minutes. Now, the thing about Scarlet Monastery is, every single instance counts as one save. So 68 mobs in here is going to be an addition to everything that you're going to get in the Scarlet Monastery. So 68 mobs right here, you're going to get at least another 50 on top of that. So there's going to be two different ways that you can pull the Cathedral. Either one, you have to kill this mob right here in front, just like an armory to keep your group safe. But if you're a new booster, I suggest you get this version of the pull down first, just because it is easier. Um, and it also helps you build mechanics with jumping up and off the ledge in the safe spot that we're going to use to kill all the mobs. There's more mobs in here if you kill every single one of them, but you should probably get this one down first. So basically what you do, rank one arcane explosion to pull these guys, and then you're going to rank one arcane explosion to pull these next guys. In the next video, you're going to frost nova them right here. You don't really have to. I end up frost novaing them because I'm like, eh, well, there's no reason for them to hit me. So you can, but really you can just start pulling all the mobs right here if you want to. It really does doesn't make a difference it's not going to change your loop but 
Just for the same, uh, sake of keeping it simple, I'm going to do it like the other pole and ignore those mobs for now. But uh, after you ice, after you frost nova those first mobs, just start pulling everything at the top of these stairs with the excluding the ones that are up in that little alleyway to the right. You're going to leave those for later. So rank one arcane explosion. You can ice lance to grab everything to your left and right. And right about here, you're probably going to want to use a blink just to get a little closer to the stairs because you've already pulled just about everything that you're going to be able to there. And then just continue to rank one arcane explosion. They're going to be casting Frost Bolts at you consistently, so you can use your Frost Ward to avoid those. It's really not a big deal. I definitely have a PvP trinket on you because the Cathedral uh, Mages will cast a slow on you. It's a 15 second slow. You can use your Ice Block to get out of it. That's fine. You can Cold Snap. You can even do that again. But a PvP trinket or Escape Artist are going to be crucial just because if you do get caught in a 15 second slow in this pull without a way to take it off and you're not already in the kill spot, you're probably going to die. It's going to be really, really hard. I've gotten out of it before, but it's not easy. So blink right here. It's imperative that you blink right when you cut through that bottom part of the courtyard because what that's going to do is going to give you immense distance on the mobs. And then you can hop back up here. You're really susceptible to the frost bolt as you turn that corner, so be wary of that. And then you're going to continue to pull all of the mobs that are up in this alleyway. And this is where we're going to go to the safe spot. The safe spot, and we don't use it in this run, but this where I'm standing right here is the safe spot. You can evocate, you can heal, but in this pull, it's not much of a purpose. So you're going to ignore the mobs in the boss room entirely. This is just kind of to get your muscle memory down. And if you find it too difficult to do the other boost, you can still do the boost this way. Just do the full pull in armory or in the, you know, the half pull in here. And I did that for a long time, too. It's still fantastic XP per hour. You lose out on a little bit, but if you're ever dying doing it the full way, you'll definitely get more XP per hour having just done it this way. So full shields, mana shield, frost ward if you have it, ice block right here at the top of the stairs. You can even ice block a little bit further down the stairs. This is probably a little bit too far up. It doesn't really make a difference because you're going to be blizzarding them all and slowing them anyway. But then after that, you can double frost nova to ensure that there's no resistors and make your way here. So these fish statues are going to be your home base. You don't really want them to get past the second fish statue. If they get past the second fish statue, they're no longer going to follow this motion and they're going to run straight at you and you're not going to be able to get rid of them. So basically, right when they get to that first fish, maybe a little bit, yeah. You know, like if there's only one, you can wait for the mods to catch up but then you're going to jump down. They're just going to keep following you. It's simple. And I actually do get hit with that 15 second slow there. But if you're in the kill phase, it's really not that big of a deal. So that's all you do. You just jump back and forth. You don't have to use Flame Strike too much because there's not that many pulls, but you should pull your Blizzard far off to where it's just hitting that ledge because when they come back inwards, sometimes they make this weird angle where they stretch out like a four and that'll cause the mobs to separate and you don't want that to happen. So just make sure that when you jump back up onto the ledge and they're coming back up from the bottom left, you just barely hit the corner with that blizzard. So right there, I just put it right in the middle because they're almost dead anyway. It doesn't really matter. But you're going to want to make sure that it really doesn't have any of that blizzard on the grass if they're at full health and they're going to complete their rotation back there through to the kill spot. But if you do it this way, with the combined kills in Scarlet, uh, <laughs> excuse me, in Scarlet Monastery Armor, you're going to get about 120 mobs here, give or take, between the two runs. And that XP will vary. It depends what level you are. These boosts are very, very good all the way from 20 to 40, and you're gaining varied XP all along the way. But you're going to kill at least 120 mobs here in 10 minutes. Pretty good. Let's check out the next one. Okay, so for this final pull here, this is going to be the full clear one pull Pretty much every single mob. I think there's one mob that we miss actually just because it's not worth cutting the loop and risking death uh, to get the extra one mob out of the last room where the bonus boss is, but that's neither here nor there. So same thing, rank one arcane explosion those first mobs, but frost over them right there in that hallway just to make sure you're getting distance, and then you are hauling ass all the way to the boss door. You're not pulling any of these mobs here. You're avoiding every single one of them, using your blinks on cooldown, and then getting to that door as fast as you possibly can because they're going to be gaining on you. You don't have a whole lot of time with the Frost Nova. So this is a good time to just turn around, quickly check your back, make sure that you still have a comfortable amount of distance. You do, and then immediately go into the left side of the chapel, get a little bit behind you, and turn Ice Lance, the guy at max range who's at the start of the room, and then just let the others pull behind you. Blink over, Ice Lance, 
every single mob there, pull them, you know, by just aggroing them near each other if you can, and then Frost Nova everything that's behind you. So what you're going to do here is you're just going to start casting Ice Lances over at these mobs at the end of the hallway, and then just keep casting your Rank 1 Arcane Explosion. Try and throw out Ice Lances if you notice anything in the middle that hasn't been aggroed. Rank 1 Arcane Explosion works as well. And then you come out of here, and you just start doing the pull like you were before, as if you had started it at the boss door. So this gets more difficult. There's a lot more mobs. You're going to take a lot more slows. The slows and the hits are actually pretty bearable. You can make it a really long time just using your Frost Novas and your shield if you don't want to waste your escape artist or your trinket. I was trying to make it a point that you can really, really, really push your luck in this if you're level 70, but uh, probably don't take as many hits as I did. Probably just use your escape artists, right? Because it's not worth risking a wipe. Nothing is. So as you continue to rank one arcane explosion all the way around these corners, make sure you have a blink ready for this corner that's up and coming. Just like in the last poll, if you don't have a blink ready, all the mobs behind you are going to start closing in on your left and you're not going to have enough room. And the safe spot that I referred to in the last uh, the last segment as well is going to be imperative here for you to either get your evocate off if you have mana problems, but you're probably not going to have mana problems if you're specced into spell absorption, which you should be anyway. And then you're just going to use this as an opportunity to bandage if you took too many hits like I did. So full bandage, you usually have time for these mobs can reset if you're up here for too long or if you attack them. So don't attack them because then they'll evade and they'll start to enter their you know runaway procedure. And uh, definitely don't stay up there for too long because once again if they're idle they will reset but then same thing blink straight across that the rest of that courtyard back to these stairs make sure you don't take a frost bolt and you can actually wait here wait for them to almost touch the staircase because if you start running this way too soon they might actually just cut straight across the fountain and not follow you along those stairs so it's very important here frost ward up shields up and ice block right as these mobs are getting to you it's also really, really important that you have two Frost Novas here because the odds of getting Resistor aren't great, but it still does happen, especially if you're doing five of these runs an hour. So you're going to take some hits, nothing too crazy, and I also recommend having the Water Elemental in your spec for this if you're not used to it. The Water Elemental will really, really help, but the, uh, the Flame Strikes are going to come back into this pull hard. You're going to need to be Flame Striking the very end of that ledge and maximizing damage as much as you can keeping those max rank blizzards coming because in this pool you don't have to worry about mana there are so many frost bolts coming at you try and keep your shields up try and keep your frost words up never try and get more than one ability off between jumps if you jump down you can get one shield that's it if you jump up you can get one ward that's it you have to jump up and down every single time you use a gcd pretty much so when you freeze them just make sure that you're keeping them all slowed in the second you cast your flame strike you already have your next blizzard cocked and ready to hit them the second the cast goes off. So this is where it gets a little bit weird because there are healers in the mobs and they will stand still. They'll try and heal the mobs that are running away and then the rest of them are just going to like, scatter and stop paying attention to you. This is not a big deal because your blizzard is going to kill them as long as you're not having mana problems. And this is going to get you about 150 mobs in 10 or 11 minutes. It might take you an extra minute to pull all those extra mobs, but with practice it's going to be completely fine. So as you can see, all these mobs are coming at me. I didn't have a lot of health, but what I could have done is while they were running away, I could have just ran up an arcane explosion a bunch of them they would have died almost instantaneously but i didn't want to do that i wanted to keep killing them just using blizzards finishing the pole the way it's kind of supposed to it doesn't look clean but this is the way i did it right so thank you guys for watching i certainly hope this helped if you have any other ideas for new videos please please message them to me or leave them in the comments i actually made this video or updated video i should say at the request of a viewer so i'm definitely reading them i'm definitely looking for ideas please let me know if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and make sure to follow twitch.tv forward slash big pasta 92 thank you guys again for watching we'll see you next time bye